DJ, how excited are you after what happened last year? A bunch of the guys have talked about you got to want more, you got to expect more this season. Is yeah. that kind of a mantra? For sure. I'm just super excited to start the season again. Um, you know, I think we accomplished a lot last year, but we didn't get satisfied. It didn't satisfy us at all. So, um, you know, this year we're ready to get started and, uh, you know, winning the playoffs. That's our goal this year. Get to the playoffs and winning the playoffs. So um, we're just excited to get started again. How good can this team be? Uh, we could be as good as we as we choose to be. Um, it's on us. Um, you know, our, our coaching staff has been great, you know, getting us ready this summer, preparing us already. And uh, it's up to us to, to, to win or lose. And, um, you know, I think we're all ready and prepared. So how do you feel about this season going forward? I'm, I'm excited, man. You know, um, we start tomorrow, um, you know, just ready to get going. Uh, it's going it's to start quick. You know, we got our first preseason, preseason game on Saturday. So I'm just super excited right now. now you guys right after the season last year, you talked about everybody was going right in the gym about two weeks after. Is that what happened? You guys been together all, most of the summer just working out? Or? Yeah, um, not necessarily together, but uh, I think everybody's been in the gym like a week or two after the season ended. Um, and uh, we came together recently, and we always in here working and uh, just getting better, and especially the younger guys. They did a great job this summer of, of getting stronger, uh, getting faster, and, and learning the game more. How much will continuity help the fact that you brought back all your free agents? You have the same coaching staff. You have the same front office. Uh, it's going to be great, man. You, if you look at all the teams in the past, like the Spurs and all those teams who brought back their same teams, they, they always win. They, they keep that same culture, that same um, chemistry, if you will. And uh, it's going to be great for our team. You know, if, like I always say, if we if we start how we finished last year, we can do amazing things this year. DJ, uh, in terms of uh, a key addition, El Peru Camino, mm -hmm. you know, he's been around the league a long time. Like you have, what have you seen from him as an opposing player that you think he can bring to this team? Uh, I love Farouk, man. He's a um, he's a great defender. Uh, he's long. He can shoot the ball. He can play. Um, he's going to help us out a lot. Um, he's a big key to this team moving forward. What's the biggest challenge to returning to the playoffs for, for a team that, that hasn't kind of played with that kind of expectation? Uh, not being satisfied. Uh, not expecting that we're going to get back to the playoffs. It's going to be a long season. Uh, we got to take it game by game and just try to win every, every single game. And when it comes playoff time, just be ready. Is it tougher to go from 25 to 42 wins or from 42 to, say, I don't know, 48? Listen, it's the, it's the NBA, so it's, it's hard to win every night. It's, it's, it's a challenge every night to win. Um, you know, I don't really get into the numbers and all that. I just take it game by game, practice by practice, and uh, just, just keep getting better every day. DJ, you're the floor general for this team. What are your real expectations, and what do you see improving this year? Uh, like we said, we're just bringing back our same team from last year. I think it's going to be great for us moving forward. We all played with each other for a long time, and uh, it's going to be great, man. You know, but... Like I said, we got to stay with that mentality that nothing's going to be given to us. Uh, we can't expect to be back in the playoffs. We got to take it game by game and just get better every day. DJ, what do you see, you're the veteran point guard on the team, what do you see your role with helping a guy like Mark Hellfolds get to where he can reach his potential? Uh, just being a leader, man, just doing the little things on and off the court, um, working on my game every day, taking him with me, you know, talking to him during the games, uh, just being a leader. and. Um, He's a great he's a great player. He's a great kid and he's willing to learn. He works very hard and uh he's gonna he's gonna prove a lot of things this season. What have you seen from him in, in workouts, etc.? Uh like I said, just working hard, man. Um he's in here every day working on every aspect of his game. Um he's a great kid. He has a lot of a lot of skills and uh, like I said, he's gonna shock a lot of people. DJ, you guys were twenty and thirty one, then you go twenty two and nine. Can you be that twenty two and nine team over a full season? I mean, what has to happen to, to carry it over? I believe in my heart we can, but like I said, it's up to us as a team to put it together on the floor. It doesn't matter what, what we think individually, but when we come together and we step on that floor, we got to believe each other, believe in each other, and uh, what we can do as a team. And like I said, we start how we finished last year. I, I, I expect us to do a lot of great things this season. Can you guys be significantly better offensively? It seemed like in the playoffs that was the, the part that got you in trouble. You, you were good defensively, but offensively you have to be better to be able to win in the playoffs. Yeah, the, I mean, the playoffs are, are totally different than a regular season. Um, you got to make adjustments, and I think uh, we learned a lot um, being in the playoffs last year. Um, if we just keep that mindset throughout the, the entire season, I think, like I said, we could do special things this year. What are some of the areas you personally focused on this past summer? Uh, just um, working on my body, uh, uh, being able to move and, and, and do the things I, I like to do on the floor, stay quick. You know, I'm, I'm uh, 
you know, people say I'm old now. My, <laughs> my teammates call me old, but uh, I just try to stay, you know, moving fast, moving quick, and, and just playing my game. And that's the things I worked on this, this summer. How has being two to three deep really for the season? It's great. You know, we get to compete against each other every practice. Um, it's going to help us get better uh, going against great guys in, in the same positions. So when we face other, other teams, I wouldn't say it'd be easy, but, you know, we'll be ready and be, be very prepared. What's the mentality for you guys heading into the season? Do you guys feel like you guys need to step up competitiveness? Do you guys have some areas that you guys need to work on or like the offense or defense? I think we um we have a lot to work on. You know, like I said, last season's over with. Um, what we did last season was great. It felt good, but it's over with. It's a new season. Um, you know, you, you see all these teams making changes and stuff. You know, all we can do is focus on ourselves, get better, work hard every day, and, and let it be what it's going to be. Is it early July when Booch and Terrence re-signed? How big of a relief was that to know that you'll have the same guys that you already have a relationship with? Oh, it was great, man, you know, to see those guys come back. Um, you know, the NBA is a business. Um, guys got to do what's best for themselves and their families. And uh, to see those guys sign back here was big for us. And it shows how committed they are to the to the organization and the city. And um, I'm excited to have them back. What's what's J.I.'s next step? Uh, J.I.'s next step? Uh, man, he, he has he has a a high ceiling, whatever you want to call it. He's 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 got so many talents. He's he's so skilled for his size and um it's just a matter of him staying healthy and, and just continuing to do what he does and, and just work hard. He's still very young. This whole team is young and uh it's a it's a lot of work ahead of us, but those guys are getting better every day. You guys made it to the playoffs and yet you don't have a single ESPN or TNT national televised <laughs> game. Did, did you notice that and how do you react to that? I didn't notice it. I um, honestly, I didn't even look at the schedule yet. I just know we start our first preseason game on Saturday. Um, but that kind of stuff, to me, it doesn't bother me. I don't think it bothers anybody on this team. We just, like I said, we focus on ourselves. We like being the underdogs and, and sneaking up on people and, and just doing what we know we can do as a team. Having Cliff back, I mean, this team had to change coaches a few times. Having him back, uh, Aaron's already talked about it. Like, now you can hit the ground running. You know what to expect from your coach. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, like you said, we you, you touched on it. We, we know what to expect from him. We know what he wants from us. Um, it's just a matter of us going out there together and doing it and proving it um, and just following the game plan and the culture of this team. And, and if we do that and play together, we'll be fine. Can this team compete for a top four seed? Like guys talked about you know, you were in the playoffs, but you didn't have home court advantage. If you get the top four seed, you can start at home. Can, can, you, can you be in that hunt? Yeah, I mean, the way I look at it is the East is wide open right now um, with all the changes. Um, I don't get caught up in all that stuff, but I feel like, like I, I, I said it about three times now, if we start how we finished last year, we can surprise a lot of people and a lot of teams, and um, I'm just going to leave it at that. Mm -hmm. DJ, defense got it done for you guys a lot last year, especially down the stretch. Where does that mentality come from, and how do you guys improve on that? It's Coach Cliff, man. He stresses defense every day. Um, we won't win if we don't play D. Um, and, and defense gets us offense. You know, we get stops and, and, and steals and rebounds, and we can push the offense. We can score easy buckets. So um, we work on that every day. It's something that we have a lot of guys in different positions that are very talented on defense, and uh, I think we're a great defensive team. Does it sort of come down to a pride thing? Oh, for sure. That's, what, that's all defense is. It's pride and effort. You know, um, you know, it's the NBA. Every guy can play. So it's just a matter of you locking down and just, you know, using that pride and that effort. Booch, Booch touched on that when he signed. He said he thinks you know last year wasn't a fluke, but he's actually starting his prime. Mm -hmm. You kind of see that with him. He thinks you know because he's sharper mentally that he can he can be even better. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, just my opinion. The NBA is all it's not all mental, but mostly mental. Um, you know, your first couple years in the league, you're just playing off of just ability, mm -hmm. and then the older you get, the more experiences you have. Um, you start to use your mental, and uh, he's he's already skilled. So now he's putting it together mentally. It's, he's going to be scary out there, man. And I'm excited to play with him again. What's the what's the, what's the biggest challenge of, of bringing everyone back? Because especially with so many young players, they're looking to grow and expand their game. As the point guard, how do you manage kind of having everyone back and yet roles being maybe a little bit different? We just got to understand we're a team. You know, um, everybody's role is going to be different. You know, my role may be different this year. The next guy role may be different. So it's all about winning. That's what the NBA is about. If we win, everybody looks good. Everybody has a role. And uh, that's all that matters in this league. Good deal. Thank yep. you. Yep. No problem. Yep. Good to see